Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's beautiful whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Yes, this is our, this is our, this, <laughs> this is our logo. Uh, for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. I had too many drinks last night. No coffee this morning. A very fresh uh, juice with all kinds of, I don't know what it is. Um, she'll be healthy after a night with too many tequila. Tequila, tequila, something like that. Uh, today, a very short update because uh, I want to make a family video today as I didn't do one yesterday. So a very short TA video, maybe seven, eight minutes. Yes, this time really seven, eight minutes. Only the Bitcoin chart. I'm going to show you a little bit how the Bam Bam and the TikTok worked yesterday. Uh, one really cool news item that I read and that's all. That's it. Yes, I have a small hangover. <laughs> <laughs> get used to it sometimes um, i drink too much mostly when bitcoin crashes <laughs> no that was a joke but let's jump into the first chart guys before you think i'm an alcoholic bam this chart guys this is the four hour chart yes some people said yesterday below the video stop the bamming um, no man I like to say the word BAM I won't stop to say the word BAM because I just love to say BAM yes sorry for that um, the channel on the four hour chart guys yes I needed to adjust the channel a little bit after yesterday so there's a small difference in the channel um, you can see this now and because I adjusted that little difference in the channel the bottom of the channel was around 55,300 and um, we wicked exactly to that bottom of that channel and that is beautiful to see um, we are finding support at the moment at the 200 moving average there's this big red line this one over there that is the 200 moving average and look it's beautiful finding support over there it's beautiful wicking down almost to the channel yes the right shoulder wasn't perfect yesterday it's becoming a little bit more perfect now and again i know it's not the most reliable pattern there in the crypto space like a lot of people say uh, but for me in this bullish world um, i'm still keeping an eye on this uh, pattern because it could mean it's a pattern that shows us that we are continuing the uptrend and yes don't let them fool you and that's also a song by Mali. don't let them fool yeah that one but you know we are in an uptrend yes we are dipping with bitcoin we are finding support and um, we are still in this fifth wave if this would be a shoulder pattern uh, an inverse head and shoulder pattern we would break out to somewhere around 70k you can see also this this fifth wave i drew it maybe we should draw it like that whatever you want you know um, it's all just lines and we all don't know the future exactly but we try to judge the situation on the numbers we saw in the past and on the moves of bitcoin we saw in the past and if we look at these moves then we can only see okay we have this 200 daily moving average which we find support we have this channel we have been moving in from there to the bottom to the top to the bottom you know and we are touching this bottom again so um, for me this is an indication we could turn around at this point we are finding support over there which is beautiful um what is the bam bam saying look the bam bam on the four hour chart is still uh, pointing downwards and we are now at the level of 44 um you know the lowest level mostly is around 34 so we could drop a little bit more and if we drop a little bit more then i expect again this white line to turn to the upside like you see here we drop to the bottom and then we go up again to the level of 60 70 or 80 and that would be a beautiful long let's take a look at another chart i hope this this is now a little bit clear not freak out not freak out always zoom out why are you repeating yourself hmm oh my god come on so that is the four hour chart let's take a look on how the tiktok did yesterday because a lot of questions yeah how does the tiktok know when to sell and when to buy this is the tiktok chart i forgot to say bam bam <laughs> oh my god uh, this is the four hour buy bit uh, chart uh, in bitcoin 
and the TikTok um, showed us, for example, here uh, when I was sleeping uh, on the. No, this is a, we are more here. This is a four-hour shot. Sorry, and um, this is a four-hour for the people that trade the long uh, time frames. So here, where we were closing down below the yellow stepping line, and the TikTok went from green into red. And we saw this huge voice, this volume here, this is the voice, this is the voice of your wife or your husband shouting to you, get out or get into the market, you know? And, and, and when this voice is loud, she is very clear or he is very clear to get out of the market. The bigger the voice, the bigger the warning. So we could have stepped out already at 58,219. I'm talking about spot trading, just selling and buying back lower. And then you could have bought, uh, you could have put a buy order around the 0 0.5 or maybe a little bit 0 0.5, a little bit of the 0 0.6 level over there. You also saw a little bit later the bear crush cross cross which also was an indication so the TikTok was already sell, telling us get out of the market that would be um, from let's say we get out a little bit late yeah, we wake up here and we would have now still a three uh, percent profit so you would be going on oh, you would be having a nineteen hundred dollar drop that's a beautiful buyback nineteen hundred dollar cheaper that is the TikTok. Um, Let's take a look at the BAM BAM indicator. How did the BAM BAM? Oh, nowadays in this TikTok you can see this automated um, Fibonacci level placement. So you can see automatically where the levels of support or resistance are. So the biggest level of support is 54 now, 55 here. If we might drop, I, I don't think we are going to drop below the 55 because of the channel we just saw on the other uh, on the other chart. Uh, but if we would drop below that, then the next level would be 54, 52. 52 this and 50 at the end over there i don't see us going there but that's just you know if we have an upswing uh, the target is 60,365. that is how it works um, then let's jump in this chart bam this one is the litecoin chart this now is the 15 minute chart you can see the minutes always over there in the left top of the screen why litecoin i just want to show you that the bam bam the tiktok indicator they work on all the platforms and all the um, on all the on all the assets did he my god drink some more mm. on all the assets litecoin bitcoin ethereum and anything even dot or vet or tesla or gold whatever i will show you but this is a litecoin litecoin said told us here the 7th of april on five o'clock in the morning i was still sleeping a flag and the flag means be aware guys we are going to see a short and that means we are going to short bitcoin then we are waiting for the confirmations i will take it slow because i need to take it slow today <laughs> sorry oh what a beautiful bad humor um, then we are waiting for the confirmation are we going to close a red candle down below this yellow beautiful stepping line bam we see it over there maybe i should maybe i should draw a little bit more did he we see it over maybe i should use a arrow how do you uh, did he really you need to really i i will use the arrows we see the closing uh, i need to do it that way of course and then i will put it there bam there you see that is the candle that closes down below the yellow stepping line this is the moment, the first confirmation. We have the flag, that's our, the first. The closing is the second. Then we're going to look for the third. That The third here, bam, this one. The bam, bam indicator is crossing the white line. Can I also draw a line over there for you guys? Bam, there. The bam, bam indicator is crossing the white line. And you can see the white line curling down. That is the third confirmation. Then we are going to look in the margin call for another confirmation. And what do we see? Yes, we see another confirmation. Bam, over there. The green is declining. The green is decli <laughs> declining. We see this red dot. We see the yellow starting. That's a triple confirmation. Even more confirmation. Yes, there is one more confirmation because bam, there. This one, the red line is on top and then we see the orange line over there and the green line and that is a perfect short and then later we get more confirmation in the volume but the one two three four and the flag this is five confirmations of taking the short in litecoin 
if you would have taken that short with a uh, let's say with a leverage of um, um, of 10 yeah, what we normally do that would have been because here at the long flag that is the moment we get out because we can see the green dot and all that stuff at that level um, that's the exit the exit you see because we're getting green because the green dot because we're going green in the cloud that's all the moment you get out that is a 10 percent trade with a leverage of 10 this would have been a 100 percent trade that's how easy it is. That is how the BAM BAM works. And we would not step out of this rate normally till we close above this yellow stepping line again. But in this moment here, that we already saw, we had a long and we didn't go above the yellow stepping line. You see, you stay in, you stay in, you stay in. And then here, when we see this long flag and we see this de decreasing and we see the green, orange, red, um, like sequence over here and then we look at the bam and we see the bam bam crossing the white line again that is the moment a triple confirmation to exit the trade with almost a 100 percent profit if you would have used a leverage of 10 on litecoin for example you know um, i know that you will say no yeah where can i trade leverage on litecoin you know we always trade bitcoin uh, that's why i show you now just on litecoin and it works on litecoin and um, if you would have traded this on bitcoin uh, i hope the thing is loading because you know the internet is pretty slow over here ah, there um, that is bitcoin it would have been the same guys you know here the short track. there the closing down below the yellow stepping line there the bam bam crossing the white line red line on top the green is declining we see a red dot over there let's see um, let's see we go in early late here at, at, at the red dot so somewhere here too late we wake up too late that would again also in bitcoin look check bam a 3.2 percent trade with a leverage of 10 would have been a, how much that would have been a 32 percent profit and bitcoin that's a shit load of profit you could have made i hope i'm doing okay with all these charts now because i really feel a little bit dizzy, <laughs> dizzy still uh, but that's how it works you know if we would have done tesla tesla this is the last example then i'm going to stop because the video is again becoming too long i'm doing all kinds of things now that i didn't want to do in this video but yeah no the tesla let's take the four hour chart on tesla i'm just jumping up and down from here to there from tesla to gold whatever you want just to show you how the bam bam indicator is working yes i promise i will make a really cool family video today as well i don't want to be talking only about charts you know that i don't want that but look tesla look this four hour chart told us here at that moment uh, I, will, I will need to put on um, uh, ah, it's still loading that's why it's taking a little bit sorry for that um, it's taking a little bit but here I, I know for sure there bam short flag this on the four hour chart a short flag on tesla the the, the there it's closing down below the stepping line the bam bam is crossing down on the white line we see a lot of yellow over here the red line is on top that is a short in tesla if you would have taken that short i man did he bam all the way to the long 31 percent i don't even know if you can leverage trade tesla but if you could that would be a shit load of profit with that shot that was enough let's jump into the next shot because you will get dizzy of all the lines and the choices and then the longs i'm drawing at the moment uh still a little bit hangover probably let's take a look at bam this chart this chart is very important to look at as well why this is the exchange balance the percentage of bitcoins on the exchanges so the question now is why is this dropping look more and more bitcoins are leaving the exchanges we have now at the moment around uh, around 12 percent only left on exchanges so the rest is in hardware wallets or in your telephones your iphones your cold storage whatever wallets you use that is where the bot bitcoins are they are not on exchanges so why would they not be on exchanges? If you want to sell your Bitcoins, where do you put your Bitcoins? On an exchange. If you don't want to sell your Bitcoins, where do you put your Bitcoins? On a ledger. Now, why do you think that all those Bitcoins are leaving the exchanges? Because people don't want to sell. It's billion dollar companies that are adding Bitcoin to the balance sheet. They are buying Bitcoins for the long term. They buy it and they withdraw it to their safe wallets where they store it. That was almost a rhyme, almost a song. 
that is how you need to look at all that stuff. There is so many, you know, um, exchange deposits. And, and on Glassnode, you can find so many information, guys. Um, I don't want to show all the information because it's now too many stuff uh, loading. My internet on the rooftop here of this penthouse is not that good. So why would they even call it a penthouse? Why are you complaining? Because you have a hangover. Hmm. Fuck it. That, car, that chart is not loading. I want to read one more news item to you. Bam, this news items. I love it. Into the cryptoverse. Real estate investors are joining the crypto space. Finally, I sold my house already five years ago for Bitcoin. And now you start to come into the game. You know how much work it was for me to sell the house partly for Bitcoins at that time, five years ago. People thought I was crazy. The real estate agent said, man, what, what is that even? You know, when I came to this guy that needed to sign the contract, he was like, I don't know if I can legally do that. It took me like a month to figure all that shit out. And now you join the game five years later. So now it's normal. You can buy a house in Bitcoin. Bitcoin. like you can see you can even sell your houses with Bitcoin even here in Mexico there are two three houses apartments for uh, f uh, that you can buy for Bitcoins all over the world and in, in, in Lagos and Portugal two beautiful houses that I know of he's selling his houses for Bitcoin so now it's becoming normal because now they can make um, you know they, they can use the service of escrow service and all that stuff so you know Bitcoin has become regulated KYC all that stuff so now you can use this escrow service to park your money when you do the deal you buy the house and then you know uh, the moment you get the key of the house the guy gets the money it's all becoming normal and it will become more and more normal in the future and i want to tell you this with my bam face on the screen <laughs> why did i do it in the small screen and um, it's becoming more and more normal bitcoin adoption is around the corner real estate um, all the investors all the institutional investors the normal investors the normal people the shops the peoples everybody is getting on board of this beautiful bitcoin revolution this this beautiful <laughs> this beautiful logo representing the huge bitcoin family including you we are making part of this beautiful revolution and we are even monetizing it and we are using the profits we make because of monetizing it to fill up a fund to help poor people all over the world like i'm building the school here in mexico like i'm buying a house in venezuela all kinds of stuff to just make sure that all people will be educated and getting access to this new beautiful monetary system. <laughs> that was all for today guys. Yes, I'm going to stop it. I had really too much tequila yesterday. All because there's a Belgium friend living in Mexico City came here with his parents-in-law and we went out for dinner last night and this uh, father-in-law he yeah, he's a real Mexican and he said we need to drink so tequila um, so and he said three glasses of tequila in Mexico is only one so <laughs> Yeah, you do the calculation, you get drunk very easy. Uh, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. Not about that I drunk too much again, but another comment. <laughs> <laughs> because I love to respond to your comments. I want to thank you for watching today. Hopefully enjoy the next video today as well uh, about the family time. If I don't make it, don't be too harsh on me. That's then because I have a headache or something. Um, but thank you for watching and hopefully see you uh, else tomorrow again. Have a beautiful day. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about even when you have a hangover. Bye! <laughs>